Chapter 10 Ben Gunn's Boat I went back to the place where I had met Ben Gunn. He had pointed to the shore and said, I have a boat. Now I wanted to find that boat. The moon was shining brightly. I quickly went down to the shore. The Hispaniola was anchored out in the bay. I was not afraid of the pirates. I could see and hear them. They had made a big fire on the beach. They were drinking rum and laughing. They were sitting by the fire. Soon I found the place where Ben Gunn had hidden his boat. But Ben Gunn's boat was small. It was only big enough for one man. Inside the boat was a paddle. I carried the boat down to the beach and put it in the water. I paddled the boat out into the bay. I paddled towards the Hispaniola. Quietly I stopped beside the Hispaniola. I could hear voices. Men were laughing and joking. Were they drunk? Where were they? I took out my sharp knife and started to cut the ship's anchor rope. This was my plan. I wanted to cut through the anchor rope. Then the sea would carry the ship away. The ship would drift onto the shore at another part of the island. Then the pirates would not know where the ship was. They would not be able to leave the island. If I could cut the rope, the ship would drift. But the rope was very thick. I worked slowly. It took a long time. Slowly, the rope came apart. A gentle wind was blowing and the ship moved. The rope broke. The ship was free of its anchor. The ship began to drift away from the bay. I heard shouts from the Hispaniola. Suddenly I was afraid. Had the men on board seen me? I pulled out one of the pistols which I had in my belt. No, the men had not seen me. There was the sound of fighting on the ship. I wanted to see what was happening. I still held the anchor rope. The ship was drifting and pulling me along. I climbed up the rope and looked through a window in the side of the ship. Two men with red faces were fighting in a cabin. They were drunk. Quickly I climbed back down into Ben Gunn's boat. Now the Hispaniola was drifting across the sea. I moved along beside the ship in my small boat. I tried to paddle back to Treasure Island, but the wind was too strong. It was blowing me away from the island. At last, I could not paddle any more. I was too tired. I lay down in the small boat and I slept. I dreamt of home and the old Admiral Benbow Inn. Sunlight woke me up. I saw the Hispaniola not far away. It was drifting towards me. My small boat was moving up and down in the water. The ship moved past me. I paddled towards it. The anchor rope hung down from the back of the ship. I took hold of the rope. Suddenly the wind blew strongly and the Hispaniola turned round. Water came over the sides of my small boat and the boat began to sink. I was still holding the ship's anchor rope. In a few seconds my boat had sunk. I had nowhere else to go. So I pulled myself up onto the deck of the Hispaniola. What was Jim's plan when he went to the ship, Hispaniola? A. To kill the pirates. B. To meet Ben Gunn. C. To cut the anchor rope. D. To sail home. 1. How does Jim get to the Hispaniola? He uses Ben Gunn's boat to get near the ship, then climbs up the ship using the anchor rope. 2. What is Jim's plan? His plan is to cut the ship's anchor rope, then the sea will carry the ship away from the bay. 3. Jim climbs up a rope and looks through a window in the side of the Hispaniola. What does he see? He sees two drunk men with red faces fighting in a cabin. 4. Jim falls asleep. What happens when he wakes up the next morning? He sees the Hispaniola not far away, and it is drifting towards him.